Hello friends, greetings from Holland. Thank you for joining me in reading through the Psalms and today we've come to Psalm 69 and David is singing the blues again. <laughs> you read it, he's in trouble, he's in pain, he's crying uh, out to God for help and in a way you read it, you maybe you can identify and maybe you feel sorry, I don't know, but uh, there's a lot of weeping, there's a lot of tears. And you read through it for yourself, read it out loud, and you will notice that whatever emotions we have, whatever we feel, whatever we go through, it's all been done before. And I think that's why it's so wonderful to read the Psalms. Because there's nothing new under the sun, really. Whatever you go through, whatever you go through as a nation, or whatever we go through in the world, it's all happened before in one way or another. And... We can use these psalms as prayers, as songs to God. What stood out to me today is right in the middle of all this drama. Verse 16, answer my prayers, O Lord, for your unfailing love is wonderful. Take care of me, for your mercy is so plentiful. Your mercy is so plentiful and your unfailing love is so wonderful. <laughs> and I think that's... That's something we can learn from David. Although he is in trouble, although he cries, although he's negative maybe even, he never stops praising the Lord. He never stops acknowledging that the Lord is good, that his love is wonderful and your mercy is so plentiful. I love that. God's mercy is plentiful and it's new every morning. It's there for you. It's there for me. It's there for all of us. And what if you need... If you need a sense or a, um, yeah, if, if, if you want to experience that love and that mercy, cry out to him like David did. Cry out to him and he will give it to you. So have a good day and see you tomorrow. Bye.